it was one big landmass. It was a beautiful place, populated by many tribes with vibrant landscapes where the animal clans flourished on the land and in the water. Wagon the Crow, the head of his tribe, led his clan through the mountain ranges and along the valleys of southeast Queensland. His nephew, Milgan the Chicken Hawk, a sharp hunter, skillfully captured his prey along the coastline. And just off the coast was a majestic creature of the deeper waters, the whale. We call him Niaju. Niaju. Also, a time of war. between the animal totems of the inland tribes and the saltwater clans. A battle for territory. The birds, Waka the Crow and Milgan the Chicken Hawk waged war with the Arjun the Whale. through the poison spear, but after many times, he failed. At last, Milgan the chicken hawk seized the spear and made a mighty stroke which caught Niaju the whale on the back of his head. Out gushed a rush of blood and water. Niaju the whale lashed around and around in agony of fury, spouting out water. Huge waves formed, rising higher and higher. Niaju the whale was determined to drown his enemies on the land. creating a tsunami and flooded the land in all directions, all the way to the Great Dividing Range in the west, north to the Diagula Range, south to Tamarine Mountains, cutting off portions of the mainland and so forming the islands of Morton Bay.
blowhole on the back of the Ardu where he was speared, breathed out his calling to his descendants, initiating the great migration of whales through Brisbane Bay of Islands, where they meet every year. The whale Niatu lies at the end of the Brisbane River, and you can still see his shape in the landscape near the port of Brisbane to this day. Yeah, I know. 